everybody. I'm excited. Well, I always feel like I'm excited when I make a video because I always have something I feel exciting to say. So hopefully you'll agree. I'm excited today because I'm actually painting. You see paint on my hand. You see I'm painting some stuff for my next big Kickstarter, which is still a couple months off, so I'm not here to talk about it. But because I was working on my future Kickstarter, it made me realize Kickstarter... I feel like I have to make more videos about Kickstarters because Kickstarter is literally exploding in our space. Like every time I turn around, it's like two, three new Kickstarters. So again, you guys know I pick out the ones that interest me that I think even if they don't necessarily appeal to me, might appeal to other people watching. Um, I am not paid by any of the people I'm about to talk about. Uh, I have no deal with any of these people to get any money if you back their Kickstarter. So back it, don't back it. I don't care. My job uh, is to bring stuff that I feel is good to your attention and that you guys do whatever the hell you want. I could care less. So if anyone's wondering, no, I'm not getting paid by any of these people. Uh, a bunch of them don't even know that they're on this list. And some of them probably do. And some people have asked me and I've said no. Some people have asked me and I said maybe. Some people ask me and I say, well, if I get around to it. Well, like I said, because I was working on my Kickstarter, maybe think, let me go check Kickstarter and see what's going on. So. I picked out, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. I think last time I had eight on my list. Now there's seven on the list. And I think some of them are actually ending in a day or two. So uh, I can't remember which, but um, I think the base one. And, oh, I don't know. But anyway, I think Kingdom of Tolarius also. But anyway, let me go through the list real quick. Just trying to bring these to your attention because I think these are worthy of looking at. I know each one won't be for everyone, but I think these are, these are kind of interesting. The first one is... Epics and Stuff Tortles by Lance Wilkinson. Now, see, on this, I'm the first to say, like, I don't necessarily like this style personally for my gaming. It's like a chunky, let me show you some pictures. It's like a chunky, beefy style. I like the way it looks. It just doesn't fit in personally with the other stuff I have. But if you like this kind of style, then I think I think Epics and Stuff is a really good sculptor, and they've got this Kickstarter on for Tortles. Now, all the things they make that interest you the most because I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their turtles are pretty interesting to me because for me, it's more like I would use them for display if I, if I was into it. So anyway, I just wanted to highlight that because also epics and stuff, you see by the chunky style, they have a much different style than anyone else out there. So I thought I'd throw out there because I just, I actually just found out this was on Kickstarter today when I was searching Kickstarter. Okay, next up, Kraken Fantasy Studios. Kraken, now full disclosure, I, I did some work with Kraken. Um, they, they had done a Kickstarter before, which I, which I thought was fantastic, even though I had no use for it because it was for Blood Bowl. But I really love the work they've done with creating the fantasy stadiums and the fans. So that's why if, if anyone knows my Kickstarters know, I'd reach out to them and ask them, could we put fans and stands into my Kickstarters? Just because I thought they were fantastic sculpts. So, uh, so it's no surprise that now that they have a new Kickstarter out, and this is interesting because it's, it's a departure from what they were doing before, which seemed to be like Blood Bowl focused. This is dungeon tiles, basically, but they're really nice. I just think they're really well sculpted, just really good stuff. Um, they're not too, um, they're not open lock compatible though. So that might matter to some people, it might not. But I definitely think um, they're good sculpting studios. I definitely think like it's worth taking a look at their stuff and see if it appeals to you or not. I, I think this stuff's fantastic, personally. So, uh, not because I work with them. The reason I work with them is I think their stuff is good, not vice versa. Don't get the, don't get the causality confused there. Um, next up, Epic Modular Bases by Basic 8. Now, again, this is another guy that, yeah, again, full disclosure, he made some bases for me for one of my Kickstarters. That's not why I'm saying look at his Kickstarter now. The reason I got him to make the bases for me for my other Kickstarters is because I liked his work. Again, not not because I was looking for something. So I think his first Kickstarter had like 1,500 backers or something, and this one's not doing quite as well. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it wasn't it advertised as well or what it is, but if you like bases, and then this time you made them, I think they're customizable, they're modular, and you can customize them. I mean, we can always use good bases. That's that's my opinion. So I, I definitely think take a look at the Epic Modular Bases Kickstarter. I think that one ends in only like a day. I wish I had thought of making this video sooner because that's a lot of people see this video. That Kickstarter might even be over. Um... Rocket Pig Games uh, on MMF. So this is not on Kickstarter. This is on my mini factory. Now, again, here's another one that I'm, I'm recommending people look at that isn't to my taste. Uh, these are, I think, basically support free, which I don't personally like most of the time because they're not as dynamic as things that require supports. 
but I know a lot of people like support free, so that's why I'm, I'm highlighting this one. And I know among the support free creators, I believe Rocket Pig is might be the premier one. Actually, I don't honestly I don't follow the support free stuff that much to be honest. But I think Rocket Pig is definitely up there on the support free. So if you're a person who likes support free, you're printing an FDM. I definitely think uh, you want to check out the Rocket Pig Kickstarter, and that that one's on my mini factory though. It's not, I shouldn't call it a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign on my mini factory. Uh, and then another one I just saw today that I didn't even know was out because unfortunately I don't think it was advertised enough or somehow it didn't come in my Facebook feed when I saw it, but something I loved the first time, even though I don't own it, I still loved it. And here's why it's wall hollow too. So I don't have a dedicated gaming room right now. We kind of like use the living room, so I can't use this wall hollow, which would, you know, just attach this to your wall and you put your figures on it. I think it's a great way if you have a dedicated gaming space and you want to display your D&D party or your, you know, your favorite characters from your Warhammer army or whatever it is. I thought Wall Hollow was like a brilliant idea. And now they're on Wall Hollow too, so they just have more ways to display your figures. And there's something about actually being able to play on it, which ah, I could care less. I don't think any of us who play D&D are going to play on our wall. Well, that could be wrong. But, but just as a wall display for your figures, I think it's fairly cool. And like I said, I didn't even know they were doing a Kickstarter. I just, when I was looking through to make this video to see what else was there, like new, so many Kickstarters were popping up. There's probably another 20 I'm not putting on this list just because I didn't really love the sculpts too much or they have, you know, 20, 30 backers. I know it's not going anywhere probably. Just, you know, whatever didn't strike me. But this stuff, Wahala 2... I mean, I, if I had the dedicated gaming space, I would definitely have Walhalla. Absolutely. So I would be backing this one for sure. I'm not backing it, but if I had the space for it, I'd be backing it 100%. Uh, next up, Kingdom of Talarius. Kingdom of Talarius, this is, I guess, Final Fantasy based, like Final Fantasy proxy type stuff. It's complete armies. It's, it's I, I, like, I like Dan Kelly as a sculptor. Um, again, I have no connection with him. I'm not getting anything for doing this, but I think he's, I think the guy's an excellent sculptor. Now, he does more realistic proportions, which I don't love as much as heroic proportions. That's why my Kickstarter, I do heroic proportions. Um, like Loot Studios does realistic also, which I also, honestly, I just don't like their stuff because the proportions. Um, but Dan Kelly is an excellent sculptor. And uh, I, I, the figures in this one, they're pretty good. So I think it's definitely worth a look. And I think I think what's unlocked now, I think each STL you're getting is like well under 50 cents, which is crazy. Um, so in terms of like bang for the buck, his uh, Kingdom of Talarius, definitely bang for the buck there. I mean, no, no doubt about it. Um, but anyway, check it out. See if it's for you. See if you like the style. See if you like the figures. It's got guys riding chocobos or chocobo proxies, whatever. Pretty cool stuff. Like you're, I played a lot of Final Fantasy I think any gamer, especially my age, or maybe 10 years younger in that area, like probably played all the original Final Fantasy games to death like I did. So just the nostalgia factor is, is pretty cool on that one. Um, the Arby Giants. Uh, my VAR wasn't that good. But this one uh, is, is giants and ants and some villagers fighting them and stuff. Uh, you know... Sculpts are pretty good. Uh, I, I actually like the sculpting style. It's a little, it's a little more probably I'd say on the cartoony side, but I, you know, that's the style I happen to like. Like I like an artisan guild type style, as people know. That's that's I'm still a big fanboy of artisan guild, um, even though I'm not I don't work with them anymore. But I, I still I just love their stuff. So that that kind of like cartoony, heroic proportion style. That's just personally what I like. And uh, the Darby Giants. Uh, Kind of has that, and uh, it's got some nice, like I said, nice giants, nice ends. I think the I think the um, defenders are pretty decent as well. Not I don't think they're as good as the giants and the ends, but I think those are decent sculpts. So I I think again it's worth a look if you need giants or these might even be, I guess titan size. They look really big in the Kickstarter, but just throwing it out there if you guys to like go look at, see if the style you know strikes or not, see if you need the figures or not. So I guess those are my seven, you know, that I saw today that struck me as, hey, like, I should get the word out and see if, uh, you know, if anyone, if you guys are interested. So again, full disclosure, I'm not getting anything from any of these guys. Uh, I'm gonna provide links in the description. 
They are not affiliate links. I do not get anything if you buy it. So, because I, I need to keep my independence, so I'm not taking affiliate. I've been offered affiliate links from people for stuff like this, but I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm just providing you direct links to to the actual crowdfunding campaigns. I don't want credit for anything if you guys buy it, and I don't want any money if you guys buy it because, again, you know, the, the more I get deeper into this, and the, and the more people who are watching my channel, I'm even less and less inclined to take money for anything, which I haven't done. And I'm still okay with taking, I mean, I'll still, okay, if you want to send me a print or review, you know, I'm not going to turn it down, but it's still not going to influence my reviews and stuff. But in terms of people's uh, crowdfunding campaigns, Kickstarters and stuff like that, um, I'm not going to ever take affiliate links or anything like that because uh, I'd rather just be able to present my honest opinion, not have to worry about like people buying it or not. So I'm not going to do that. So anyway, these are the seven that hit me. Um, I'm going to search Kickstarter again next week. Maybe I'll make another video. I bet there's going to be 10 new 3D printable Kickstarters out next week. I mean, it, it are, this is really good for us because our, our industry is exploding. Some might say oversaturated even. But still, as a consumer, oversaturation is good, right? Because prices you know, are incredibly low for these Kickstarters for the most part. Um, and you get a lot of stuff. And, and I, I do believe the quality we're seeing is getting better and better. I know for like the Kickstarter I'm working on, as good as Pit Fighter was in terms of quality and Wukong, this third one's going to be even better. Like, you know, we try to improve the products you make every single time. So it's just an exciting time to be a consumer in the 3D printing world with the printers getting higher res and better. It's just great. So anyway, that's it. I don't want to keep you guys too long to bore you. Um, I will be back very soon with some more resin reviews. I'm, I'm wrapping up a bunch of resin reviews here. Uh, actually, I've, I've done the first half of a bunch of the reviews. I just have to do all my brake tests and all the sciencey stuff that I do. So that's it. Thanks, and happy 3D printing.